Welcome to my channel. This is Wendy. I hope you are doing well. Today we are going to talk about new releases. Who want to start reading Manwes or want to know what's new releases? Let's explore some exciting new historical Manwa releases from February 2024. These captivating stories cover a range of genres, from romance and fantasy to action and comedy. Buckle up for a thrilling ride through the world of Korean comics. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like all. My second first marriage. Demia Lawrence, the daughter of a fallen baron, secretly marries her childhood friend Durten Romerby, but contrary to her expectations, her married life is filled with mental abuse from Durten and physical abuse from her mother-in-law. She becomes increasingly overdependent on Durten, who, almost right after the wedding, leaves for the capital for business and doesn't return for five years. Meanwhile, Demia discovers that her mother-in-law is plotting to assassinate her and flees from the Romerby house. I changed the villain. She is reincarnated as a secondary character in a novel who is killed early on by the villainous male subprotagonist. But the villain says things like, You are as graceful as a deer that grazes the mountains. This villain, he has no intention of killing me. This is an emergency. I'm going to meet you beyond time. Genius magician Eleanor, who is also the grand magician and duchess of a small country, activates her time magic, which she has been preparing since the day her mother died, to capture her. Eleanor, who has traveled back 20 for years into the past, sets out to find her mother, but encounters a man she doesn't recognize, Liam Temperian, Duke of the Empire. However, in the future where Eleanor lives, his family does not exist. Void information, Eleanor approaches the truth of the past. The villainous captured the Grand Duke. My favorite character in the novel died, abandoned by the heroine and lost his emotions. He could no longer use his abilities, and when he weakened, the North collapsed. Without even finding his body, the novel depicts only the happy ending of the main characters. And I possess the evil girl in the novel, Schwire. I'd rather get his emotions back before he meets the heroine. So I headed to the North. Duke, could you hold my hand? Or maybe an autograph? I'll keep it as an heirloom. They live in the princess flower garden. Thanks to the seal of the king of spirits, she was born with the qualities of a master of spirits. Her parents and brothers pour endless affection on her, and the knights often follow her around asking for her to be an escort. Furthermore, why don't you know that your light wish is my earnest desire? The devil begs for a different look and says, I want to become a good emperor. An emperor who makes an empire that will suffice for you to stay comfortably. The Duke's villainous daughter is depressed. Irene Song had transmigrated inside a novel and became the villainous daughter of a duke. However, the duke who was unaware of this fact, simply thought she had amnesia and sent her off to marry the second prince of Ren's empire. Little did she know that the second prince was cursed by an evil wizard and turned him into a dog during the day and could only turn back to a human at night. What's worse, she even named it Tofu after she found it wandering in the imperial palace. Who would have known it was her own husband? The S-class hunter doesn't want to be a villainous princess. She had transmigrated into a hunter constellation fantasy novel, and after 10 years, she finally attained the number one hunter ranking and cleared the tower. But now she transmigrated into a romance fantasy novel as an exalted and infamously evil princess. But if you look closely, this princess doesn't usually live a bad life, does she? Every day, there are assassination attempts and all kinds of schemes. Snow Mountain Monster Princess Princess Valerie Belov, born as the youngest daughter of the former emperor, she was long abused by her mother, the former empress. After growing up, she is even exiled to a frozen snowy mountain due to her mother's sins. Unfortunately, the tragedy did not end there. She had the ability of a monster that was killed in the snowy mountains a long time ago. The same freezing ability that terrified many. I should have died just like that. When Valerie opened her eyes, what entered her field of vision was her mother, Alicia, who had been executed, realizing that she was back to her nine-year-old self with the ability to freeze. Valerie realized that she could never be the same. She runs away to Millard, the emperor and half-brother, because she thinks he can't live the same as in the past. Come and regret. Ray and Eleanor, 
the Grand Duke of Lezen, is married to Gennari's royal family Innes in the name of promoting harmony between Gennari and Lezen on the surface. However, Innes was an illegitimate child born through an affair, and was a shame of Gennari and was an abandoned royal family. And in the Eleanor family, illegitimate children were not treated as humans, nor were they tolerated. Innes, who married Rayan, was of course unhappy. He was indifferent to everything and only sought Innes when needed. Sometimes he didn't seem to be normal to her, and sometimes felt comfortable in his arms. Six years after marriage, Innes only angered at him. Innes, who was born in the dark and did not have many days to live in the first place, was sentenced to a one-year time limit because she continued to drink deadly tea after marriage. One day, knowing that there is not much time left to live, as usual, she asks Rayan for their son, Caesar. Rayan, who doesn't know why, dismisses Innes' story as a nutritious conversation. In the end, Innes is cursed of the love of you, saying, let's never meet again, even if there is a next life. My beloved oppressor, Annette, of royal blood and the only daughter of a military general, after two years of passionate love, she married her father's loyal subordinate, Heiner, the happiness she thought would last forever with her wonderful and loving husband, everything was perfect, everything seemed perfect, until her husband's treachery caused the downfall of her family, I'm divorcing you, Heiner, do you still have any use left for me, my parents are dead, the monarchy has fallen, I have nothing, your revenge is over, madam, where do you intend to go to be happy, there is nowhere I can be happy, Heiner stretched the corners of his mouth and smiled, if that's the case anyway, you'll be unhappy by my side for the rest of your life, Annette suddenly realized that his revenge was not over, and that she had to break off this sickening toxic relationship with her own hands. Here we come to the end of this video. I want to add two more new historical manwas. Marriage with the Archduke, I know now, and the Civil Servant Hunter's S Class Resignation Log. I hope you like this video, if you do, show me some likes, subscribe and comment. See you next time. Have a great day.